Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now let's solve this particular problem which says that curtains having mass of uh, 5 kg are required to move along the assembly line at a constant speed of 8 meter per second. Determine the smallest radius of curvature rho for the conveyor so the curtains do not slip. The coefficient of static and kinetic friction between a curtain and the conveyor are 0.7 and 0.5 respectively. So we are going to solve this problem using the normal and tangential coordinate system. So we need to define our normal axis. So the normal axis is always acting towards the center of the curvature. So this is our normal axis. Similarly, the tangential axis will be tangent to the curve right and it will be making 90 degrees with the normal axis so this is the tangent tangential axis and the binormal axis is perpendicular to both the axis so this is the binormal axis now uh, the weight of the curtain will be acting in the negative v direction so this will be the weight this is weight and this is equal to 5 times 9.81 since the mass of the curtain is 5 kg and the conveyor will apply the normal force on this cur curtain in the upward direction that is in the positive b direction like this this is the normal force and similarly in the problem statement we said that uh, the the curtains do not slip right so we have to find the smallest radius of the curvature for the conveyor so that the curtains do not slip outwards right so if the curtain is not slipping outward so there will be a friction force in the positive end direction right so we will have the friction force like this right so this is the friction force and since the curtain is moving along the tangential axis it's not moving in the normal direction so this will be the static friction right so this will be equal to 0 0.7 times the normal force right since the coefficient of static friction is 0.7 now if we apply the summation of forces along the binormal axis is equals to 0 since the curtain is moving is in the tangential direction so as we can see that this n is acting in the positive b direction so i will write plus n minus the weight and this will be equal to 0 and from this we can say that n is equal to weight which is equal to 5 times 9.81 newtons similarly if i apply the summation of forces along the normal axis so this will be equal to m times a n and as we can see that along the normal axis we have only this friction force which is uh, 0 0.7 times n so 0 0.7 multiplied by n and this will be equal to the mass of the curtain so the mass of the curtain is 5 kgs and a n so as we know that a n is v square divided by rho so i need to put v square divided by rho here so now so now we are interested to find this rho so we can write this equation like this this will be 5 times v square divided by 0 0.7 times n and we can put values now so this is 5 velocity is 8 meter per second so we need to write 8 square 0 0.7 and n is equal to the weight so which is 5 times 9.81 so 5 will cancel out and we will be left with 8 squared divided by 0.7 into 9.81 so this will give us the radius of the curvature which is required this is 8 squared divided by 0 0.7 into 9.81 so the radius of the curvature is 9.32 approximately so this is 9.32 meters so this is the solution of this particular problem kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet also like these videos if you people want me to solve such more problems